Hey guys, it's Piper and welcome back to my channel. Today I am in my garage and I'm on an air track and we are going to be doing an online stretching, tumbling, and conditioning class. So what, will, what you will need is some space to tumble and if you have a gymnastics mat like an air track or a foldable mat, then that's great too. So I want you to get that out if you have that. So you need some space, and then of course you need a water bottle in case you get tired. And we are going, for tumbling today, we're going to be doing, um, we're not gonna do any like back flips and stuff. We're just gonna be doing beginner, beginner, intermediate, and advanced, no elite tumbling. So let's get started. So first we're going to be doing some stretching. So open your feet into a straddle and reach towards the right for about 30 seconds. So you can pause the video and go for 30 seconds, but I'm not gonna do that because then this video is gonna be hours. And then after you've done that, then you're gonna reach to the left and then you can hold that for 30 seconds. And then you're going to reach to the middle and you guessed it, hold this for 30 seconds. Okay, so. Now we're going to be doing a pipe stretch. Get your feet out in front. They can either be pointed or flexed. Whatever works for you. Flexed is for a deeper stretch, but I'm gonna go with pointed. And reach for your, reach to your toes and try and get your nose to your knees. You're gonna hold that for about 30 seconds. And then after that, we're going to go to our right lunge make sure that your knee is not over the your little the toes on your foot it has to be in line with it and that your back leg is going to be straight against the ground we're not going to do one off the ground we're just going to do it on the ground but you're going to put your arms like this hold that for about 30 seconds and then you're going to go like this and you're going to hold this for about 30 seconds and then you're going to hold your split for about 30 seconds. And then if you um, can do an over split, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a surface. I'm just gonna do the edge of the mat and you can, sorry, sorry if you can't see. And then you're gonna go off there just so you can see the height. So you know kind of what your limits are. So an over split, you can kind of do like half of this or Remember to know your limits, don't force yourself down. And then you're going to do the lunge and the reach over and that on your, and over splits on your left side. So next we're going to get to the t to back stretching. You're gonna to go to a cobra. A cobra looks like this. So you go onto your belly and then you push yourself up like this. And then you go down as much as you can. And then you can hold this for about 30 seconds. And then you're going to do a seal stretch where you touch pose to your back, your head. And you're gonna do that for about 30 seconds. So we're done with stretching and now we're going to be moving on to tumbling. So let me put this up here. Okay, so first for tumbling, we are going to be doing beginner tumbling. So if you're advanced or intermediate, you're gonna go through this, and then if you're advanced, you'll go through intermediate. Just stop when your level is over. So for beginner, you're going to be doing a cartwheel. We can practice cartwheels. In a cartwheel, it's really important that you um, get keep your other leg moving the whole time to be able to place it down on the ground so you don't fall while you're on your hands. So some cartwheel drills, drills you can do is I'm left leg, so you're gonna do a lever, but my left leg's horrible, so I'm gonna demonstrate with my right leg because 
so you can see better. So that's a lever. And then, and then another drill you can do is just going into a sideways handstand. That always helps for me. And then, then you'll be ready for the cartwheel once you mastered that. You can try it on both legs to see which one's your better leg. And then for the second skill we're going to be doing is a forward roll. And this is what the skill looks like. Sorry if you couldn't see that. I'm going to start kind of over here so you can see everything. So next, some drills you can do for the forward roll are just like going onto your hands and going down onto your back. Because the stand up is what people have the most trouble with. So you might want to practice just standing up, plain standing up. That's a drill you can do because some people may have trouble with that, they're beginners. And then for the second skill for beginner tumbling is a backward roll, which looks like this. Now let me start for the back so you can see the ending. And that is a backwards roll. Some drills you can do for a backwards roll is just going down and landing onto your back. And another drill you can do for standing up is when you go over, it's just going here without, when you go down, just going over and pushing onto your knees. It's another drill. So now for beginning tumbling, we're gonna do handstands. You're gonna put your good leg in front. I'm not gonna be doing press handstands because that's not a beginner skill. Then you just go up into a handstand. Some drills for handstands that you can do is a plain lever. And then maybe you can do a, just kind of go off the ground a bit. But something that's important when you're doing handstands is that you look at your hands, it helps you balance. This doesn't personally work for me, but some people have said that whenever you're in a handstand, when you put your hands on the ground, it helps if you grip your fingers. That doesn't personally help for me, but it may help for you. Okay, so the next skill that we're going to be doing is going to be intermediate. So for intermediate, you are going to do front walkovers, and back walkovers, which are the intermediate skills. Of course, all through beginner skills, but that's the main ones that you are gonna be working on at intermediate, so that's what we're gonna do today. First skill is a front walkover. And the second skill is a back walkover. And something that you're going to be needing to get for your back walkover is a bridge kickover. This is a bridge kickover. So a drill you can do for that is just simply going up into the bridge, because you need back flexibility for the bridge, and then simply, just simply going into the air into a split, except that don't look very good right now because I'm not that stretched. That's just a little secret. And then when you're able to kick over, that's good. And then some drills that you can do for the wa front walkover is a handstand bridge stand up. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. Handstand, bridge, stand up. That wasn't that pretty. And then another drill you can do is just plain bridge, plain stand up. So, and then now we're going to be moving on to advanced tumbling. So we're going to be going over two advanced, three advanced tumbling skills today. One is a, called a Valdez, two is called a back handspring, and three is called a front handspring. So let's go check those things out. So first I'm gonna demonstrate the back handspring which is a pretty popular skill. So 
so you jump back onto your hands and then push off your hands and rebound. And then the second thing is a front handspring, and I'm going to demonstrate that one right now. I like to add a hurdle, but if you guys just want to do it just flat, then that's okay too. Sorry if you couldn't see my landing, but you get the main idea. You go into a handstand, kind of, and then I'm going to do it one more time and then explain to you what we're doing. So you go into your hands and then you push off and went like this. So we're going to do some drills for the front handspring. For the front handspring, a simple drill could be going into a handstand and just going flat onto your back. I kind of go flat, but for that you're going to be needing some pillows so you're able to not like crash. So I kind of just did a forward roll, but if, pillows would be very helpful for that. And then a drill for the back handspring you can do is you can go and you can go to practice, to practice going backwards. And another skill you can do is you can put a mat behind you and then you could go and onto that mat. And then for the Valdez, I'm going to demonstrate that skill. It's a skill closer to the floor, so I'm going to need to move the camera. Right here. So you go like this, and then you have to go over like this. So how you do it is some drills you can do for that, is you can go into the Valdez position, and then you can go around and into a bridge with your leg up, except that's kind of hard for me to hold. So maybe it's different for you, but that's not the best drill for me. And another skill or drill that you can do for that is just going into a bridge and practicing kicking over with your leg already in the air. And now for the last thing we're doing, which is everyone's favorite, conditioning. So first we're going to be doing everyone's favorite push-ups. 10 push-ups. And let me demonstrate push-ups because there are some people in the world who do push-ups like this. One, two, three. And that's not how we want to do push-ups. So let me demonstrate a push-up, which I shouldn't have to. So I hope you're not one of those people. And if you are, fix it. So that's how you do a push-up, though I think everyone actually knows how to do a push-up. So you're going to do 10 of those, and then we're going to do 10 sit-ups, which is everyone's second favorite. You go down, and then you just pull yourself up, and you're going to do 10 of those. And then you're going to do another 10 burpees, because everyone likes burpees. So you go. Push up, up. So, something that can help you with your push-ups is arm strength. Because if you watch me closely, when I do push-ups, when I go down, I have to push my body back up and let it down. So, you need a lot of arm strength to do that. And I've heard before that you need to be able to even out your flexibility and your strength. So for leg flexibility, you wanna try and even it out with strength. So, this is some stretches you can do for arm flexibility. And then, and also what I can do is I simply go back and then I try my best to keep my hands together and just roll it back. I can't do it with my hands together yet. My arms are not that flexible. I'm more of like the leg flexibility person. Arm flexibility is not my best. 
So that's some um, drills you can do for arm flexibility. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you learned some tips. And speaking of tips, there's one tip that you have for the front walkover, not front walkover, the front, front, frontwards roll. You know what I'm, forwards roll, why did I? So for the forwards roll, you want to be able to be able to stand up. And you have to be get, get comfortable with rolling on your back. It's the same with the backwards roll. You want to be get comfortable with rolling over. So I wouldn't really request doing it on like hard floor. There's concrete under this. I wouldn't request doing it on hard floor. I would request doing it on a mat or maybe on a carpet, like a carpet, like in your bedroom. Or on a bed and so that's all I have for t for today and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time bye